So hey guys, and welcome to another Retro Games for Cheaters with me, Supernatus. Uh, today we're playing uh, Astyanax. Uh, there's one thing I need to just fix before we do anything else. Which is to show you exactly which cheats we've got turned on in this situation. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be on this screen, but we'll be okay. So, infinite spell energy, infinite life energy. There's a lot of others that we could turn on, but I just don't see the point of them, because they kind of counteract some of the others. Uh, infinite power. Uh, we've got intro music changed just to see and make sure everything was working correctly. Now, in order to do that, I just apply these changes to the game. And once it says it's done, we close that menu and reset the game. It doesn't sound like anything's changed to me, but I guess we'll find out in just a moment. So, Astyanax, 1990 from Jalico. Uh, pretty much a typical kind of side-scrolling platform fighting type game. We've got a bit of a storyline there. Some guy goes, woo, and wonders where he is. And there's a butterfly in green there. Uh, tells us we're in Remlia. And uh, yeah, the 1990s, yeah, late 80s. She called herself Cutie. I'm not sure that name would fly anymore. What do you think? Do you think that name would fly? I don't know. He thinks he's on acid or something just now. Anyway, uh, he's a talking butterfly. So yeah, we're playing with those cheats to try and get through the game. Because why not? I was actually looking at a pronunciation manual, pronunciation guide, I can't remember, the one on YouTube uh, for this game. Uh, you know, the one that pronounces things wrong. Uh, <laughs> and I'm calling it Astyanax because that seems to be how to pronounce that. They pronounced it Nasty Ass Dino, I don't think that's the right answer. You know, just, just my thought. Uh, so we have to capture a princess who's being held by an evil wizard. There's a surprising story for you. Blackhorn's his name. And I have to save the princess. Why not? Now let's see whether these cheats actually worked or not. Here we are, we're in a place. Uh, I feel what I do need to do. Because of the way... No, it's fine. I just need to minimise something in the background. A little bit confusing because the jump button is not the one I would have thought it was going to be. But as you can see, we've been hit quite a few times and we're not dying. So I think we've uh, definitely hit the cheat correctly. The question now is, can we complete these, this series of jumps when we're being hit by a green thing all the time? Seems like I do that and they just keep respawning. And then I just fell down a hole. So I guess we're continuing. <laughs> we're trying again. So I, did, I did jump properly, but for some reason the game decided it didn't want me to do that. It wasn't the game, let's be honest, it was me being rubbish. So I can use that magic to destroy things more easily. Makes things a lot easier. But there we go, we got there. Ooh. So we've got an magic. Works in much the same way as uh, using your special weapons in Castlevania. In that you just press up and the attack button. I can't see any reason for us not to finish this game. I don't know how long it is. Probably not very, you know, a lot of... Uh... Uh, see, the trouble is, I think it was right on the verge of where those creatures respawn. Very easy. Because we've got unlimited uh, magic power, we can pretty much just do that all the time. Of course, that would make the game pretty boring, so... We're not just going to use our magic attack all the time. Some sort of red orb of flesh. It's a two-headed uh, xenomorph, of course. Because that's what we want in our games, two-headed xenomorphs. And then a weird knight riding a... Oh, its head spins round. Now, we're trying to do these games without... 
without being hit too many times. I don't want, although I'm cheating, I don't want to basically do the game in a really bad way. But I am getting hit quite a bit here. I do have a decent amount of life in this game. There we go, let's just do that. And now we've got this knight and he's stuck in the corner. We're going to pin him to the corner and beat him really quickly. Are we using glitches too? I don't know if that was a glitch, really. There we go. We continue on. We've cleared Remlia. And we have, like, cutscenes in between. It's not really a cutscene, is it? But Blackhorn Caesar has been killed. Caesar, that must have been the guy we killed. Vernon! So that's Blackhorn, is it? He was brought here by QT. Princess Rosebud's friend. Rosebud? Rosebud. Mm. Wasn't that just a sled? Or was that in the real Ghostbusters? I can't remember. I put QT in the cell. I'm positive. How wide were the bars in this cell? Because she's only a tiny fairy. So what size of cell did you put her in? You know, were the bars close together? Or were they the kind of bars in a prison cell for regular people? The power of the human is strong. He must be the root of our trouble. Must be. Who are we talking about? And he must destroy him, apparently. He cannot stop me. Cannot or can't would work too. From taking Rosebud's power. Yes, sir. Pink skeleton to fight. Or was it purple? It is. A colour that's somewhere between pink and purple. So yeah, we um, continue on in our adventure of not dying and generally just uh, beating our way through a game without playing it properly. Well, I mean, I suppose we are trying to play it relatively properly. Make sure we kill all the enemies that are about to knock us off this platform. I didn't do it. I didn't kill all the enemies that were going to knock us off the platform. Red Road. I got a red rum. I think. What does a what does a racehorse have to do with anything? Ah. Right, so we're going to try and use our magic carefully. There's going to be another one of those things popping up over there. We got rid of that. Okay, we're fine. That'll work. Quite a high jump this kid's got. You know, he looks like a little kid, right? In the, uh, the little cutscene things. But he looks like a gigantic warrior as we walk through the... Uh, the game, doesn't he? He doesn't look like a little kid that he looks like in the in the little scenes. So I guess he's, I don't know, he's deceptively strong. That was close, we almost, uh, we almost had some trouble there. But let's be honest, we're not really going to ever have any trouble. Although, to be fair, the, the, the cheat that I'm using doesn't give you infinite lives, it just uh, was it just infinite energy? It was, wasn't it? Some sort of uh, green snot monster. I'm not scared of green snot monsters. 2-1, so the last level there was only one round. Unless 2-2 two, two is just the boss fight. I suppose maybe it is. Inazumi. Well, that doesn't look like a safe platform. Are these slippery? I thought maybe those would be icy platforms, but they're not. I don't know what the use of them being a different colour is. Yeah, screw that guy. Basically, I think our, our situation here is we do still need to make sure we don't... Uh, don't miss any um, platforms. So if we miss platforms, we're going to have some trouble. Because as I say, infinite lives 
infinite life energy, but not actually infinite lives. So I think we've got one life left. Well, now a lot of the time, obviously, in these games, one life actually meant you had two. Because it would count zero as a life. Uh, there we go. If I drop down to the screen below, the enemy respawns. Which is great. You jump up. You've killed the enemy. You land. It's back. I know that that's kind of a cheaty way to get through here, but we've got the power to do it. Is that it? Oh no. Some sort of uh, pterodactyl. I'm not scared of you, pterodactyl. Why would I be? I'm assuming that's that level over too. Oh no, here we go. Look, we've got some sort of slithering... It's a slithering snake guy. It's like a gorgon... What happened? It disappeared! Oh, there he is. Ah, oh, we weren't close enough. Well, that was really easy. I guess that was Inazumi. So, Inazumi. We got him. What's, what's gonna happen now? There's a fire. You will all die in the fire. He's speaking to Cutie, who's telling him that he misses his world. There's not a lot of stages in this game, I think there's only about six stages to go through. So we've already done two, four to go, and all the bosses that come from that. She can see sadness in her eyes. Thelenia is so far away. I'm sorry. Okay, well this is Ryogoku, apparently. Ryogoku? Anyway, let's get there. Let's get it. Oh, there's, a, there's a hole. Oh, those are going up like ground level. Look at that. Oh, that was almost dangerous. We're okay though. Ah, don't worry. See that? If you're right on the edge of the screen, the enemies respawn there the whole time. That's interesting, isn't it? So, unless you're right in the correct place on the screen, you can be killed by respawning enemies. I mean, look at that. I don't know if you would have been able to actually beat that. Can you actually attack that? You have to be in the exact right position to use your special attack. And if you're not, See, look, that's going to keep respawning. Because it's right on the edge of the... Because it's right on the edge of the screen, it respawns. I don't... I'm not sure I really like the way that enemies spawn in this game. Just run there. Now I can kill one of these. But as soon as I do, another one appears. Now, the way round that would be to jump as it goes past. So the, the actual answer to that is, don't kill it. Let it fly past. You know, just don't kill the enemies that are there. Just get far enough over so that they don't respawn. It's interesting though. It's an interesting spawning technique. There we go, look, so that could have been a problem, but we go past it. See, so now if I jump to this platform, I already know. Can't hit that. There we go, now I can. Right, but remember, there's one of those...
got it. We got it. I wasn't sure that we'd be able to kill that thing because of where it was positioned. And there's another one. See, it's kind of it's kind of a really easy game when all you have to do is that. Oh look, there's enemies around me. Ah! Oh, it's some kind of minotaur with lightning between its horns. And it doesn't attack. We've just knocked it off the other side of the screen. <laughs> Really? So it's probably going to appear on that side of the screen if I hit it too much here, right? Yeah, the screen's just wrapping round in such a way that I can knock it off to the other side of the screen. <laughs> Very strange. Okay. Okay. Why not? That's very interesting. That the way the level's wrapped, obviously, the enemy will go round and round. Excuse me. So here we are again, on to the next stage, and now it's one where we're going down, but I can't actually see where I'm going. So what do we do here? Can we do like a downward jump? No. So I have to just drop blindly into the area below me, where dragons respawn repeatedly. Now that's, this is a slightly frustrating level, isn't it? I have no idea what's underneath me. Presumably I'll have very little time to correct any problems, unless they've just made this level really, really easy. The last thing we want though is to walk onto a platform and there's a hole underneath it or something. I mean, that wasn't a very nice spawn, because you couldn't possibly see that until you'd landed, or until it appeared instantly the moment you stepped off the platform, should I say. There is a hole to fall down there, but... I actually think that's where you're supposed to go, because you can't go that way, yeah. Some eyes in the wall there, and look, dragon claws too. Is this whole building, this whole tower or whatever going to just uh, destroy us? Nothing to do up there, we must have to drop down. Uh, they could be lulling us into a false sense of security here as well, you know. Could go, oh yeah, yeah, you just drop down, you just drop down all the time, it's fine. Oh, we've got like a guy with like a whip, and he's doing like a, a that looks like a slightly concerning salute that he's doing. But he wasn't any match for us. So now what do we have? We have a giant rock face that shoots spiky balls of death. Oh, now it's a brain. Do you like this brain? And now it's the flying... I don't know, it's like a throbbing butt head. Quite literally, it's a throbbing butt head. And he shoots bubbles out of his chest cavity. Oh, he's getting faster. He's getting dead. So yeah, he shoots bubbles out of his chest cavity. That was rent. That's what happens when you're late with your rent too often. I don't, I don't think so. Is it not? Your landlord sends some kind of freaky genetic monst rock monster that turns into a skinless fly. I don't know. That sounds unlikely, doesn't it? But it's true. True fact. He says this is his territory. He's peed on it already. going to make it any further apparently. I think from what I understand we're about halfway through the game so we're not going to make it any further guys. She can no longer communicate with something cutie telepathically. It's so slow you know, when the text comes up that you can't. You're wrong Thorn Dog. That's his name is it? Thorn Dog. You can take the T off you turn it into something else entirely, but his name's Thorndog. And he says, ha 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 ha, what can they possibly do? Beat you? One silly human. And a fairy. Uh, okay. So he's going to transfer her magical powers to where? Oh yeah, to him. And he'll rule the world. Mwa ha ha ha. 
friends are already doomed. Ha ha ha. By shouting it, so, you know, it's all in caps actually there, if you notice. These bad guys just, they, they communicate in all caps, and I've just fallen straight into it. <laughs> Some kind of weird... Oh no! Yeah, we didn't have infinite lives. But there we go, um, I don't want to play through all of that again. Unless I can continue. Can I can continue? Yes, I can! Then let's do that! There is a continue, that's good. Can you just go away, you weird dodging car monster? Oh, we're alright then. So I was right in that we didn't have infinite lives. But really, that doesn't matter when you can just continue the game. We've got weird flying fish here. And going through the same spawning situation, obviously, that, that the other creatures have. Poor joke! Uh, oh, it's like a it's like a weird underwater chameleon. It really does look like a weird underwater chameleon. Look. It is. We're, we're, I don't know. Does it have like laser beams coming out of the pan? No, 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 no. Yeah, we almost got in trouble there. Let me go away, floating eye beast. We have vines. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm not giving it time to actually see what it does. Look, see? So that fish respawned in the most annoying place. The only thing I will say about this game, the stages aren't particularly long. Uh, they aren't particularly difficult. Very, very simple platforming. This isn't like Sonic the Hedgehog where a platform goes, you know, the platforms go like different ways. It isn't like many of the better platform games where you have to kind of do some slightly more, slightly more interesting platforming. Couldn't be one of those things, I'll like that too. Oh no. The platforming on this is just very basic. We've got a yellow skeleton. Maybe it's going to come out on the right hand side of the screen there, I don't know. Maybe if I walk away it will appear as well. I'm not scared of you. Just go away. Oh no. Go on. That took a little bit longer than I wanted. Marshy! It's full of Martians, you see. I don't know, I'm just being really stupid. Grave! The consequences of failing would be. Look, I mean, all we have is like random blobs of stuff. This is a level that wouldn't look out of place in like Castlevania or something. Oh, there we go. There's butterflies here. Hold up. I'm sure that that Stalin Tiger might, or whatever, you know, there was moving as I landed on that platform. It looked like it was. It was Throbbing, just waiting for us to stay under it for too long. I don't know what I'm about to do. Ooh, skeleton. What's going to happen when I jump to there? Oh, no, uh, no flowers coming out of the ground. It'll be on that platform instead. Yeah. <laughs> Its uh, tactics are fairly, fairly obvious, you know, for, for actually getting you into those kind of situations. I would assume there's not one there because there's one of those things. Where's the skeleton? There's some magic. Admittedly, you know, that, that extra, that overuse of the magic power is uh, handy, actually. See, by killing that instead of, by killing that that way instead of doing the magic, it actually did come back. I'm oh, sorry, it actually didn't come back, should I say. Now maybe I got into the right position for the spawn. See, I could stand here endlessly and just get millions of points if I wanted. But I'm not really interested in doing that, because that would make very boring for you. So I just let it pass. Stuck. 
Uh oh, we're in deep trouble. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. It's easy for skeletons to go down like that. I don't think we're far away from the ends, to be honest. I don't know how many continues you get in this game. Are they going to be endless, do you think? Okay, so here comes the boss. It's like a weird... It's a guy in a robe. And we're stuck. Alright, so we get frozen. Right, we can kill it instantly. Here we go, we've got the next boss. What is it? It's like a weird flower. It's like a tree beast. It shoots. Yeah, no, they are, they are, they are fine. I thought for a moment that was green lightning. That didn't kill him, but that did. I thought I was shooting green lightning for a moment there. That doesn't make sense. But we've cleared the grave. We've gone from the cradle. Right through to the grave. I know. So, here we are. Showing ourselves to be tougher than they expected. And we've arrived, at last, I guess at the guy's castle? Oh, we're walking off into the sunset, maybe the game's over. No, look, it's a mound of... No, it's just rocks. I thought maybe it was a mountain of skulls. You know, that would have been ideal. They've made, like, a castle on top of a mountain of skulls. Then the game would be, uh, would be very metal. It's not. I mean, it is kind of. I don't know. He's just got a weird kid that doesn't look anything like he does in the cutscenes. It looks like he's got a blue beard there. I suppose it's the helmet that covers his face. So. Look, like we've got different creatures going through the water that are pretty much exactly the same. I wonder what those ones actually are. But... Well, if I do need to stay too close to there, I end up. Repeated spawning of flying fish. Why don't we just go here? Yeah, it's just a green, it's just a red chameleon. Ah, come on. We got it, okay, we got it. Let's go to that, go to that. We're in a good position. To succeed, I think. We got a sword. Those chameleon things aren't particularly tough, are they? I mean, I'm calling them chameleons just because... You know, they're probably the closest thing... See, some of those spawn before you come off the platform. And some of them don't. I don't think we're far from the end now. I think we've reached the wizard's castle. But no doubt our princess will be in another one. I know, I know. We're not playing now, are we? So maybe we're alright. Maybe, maybe in this game we'll keep princesses in the castle as we're supposed to be in. Oh, is that me? This rhythm stick. Here we go, we're, uh, I think we're reaching the boss for this stage. Oh, it's a lion and a bird. And the bird is carrying the lion. It's like a rock carrying a giant cat. And that's Telegam. Telegam? I'm not going to tell you again? No. I don't know. What's that place called? Telegam. Tell, tell about gammon? Oh, oh wait, I better not say that. Okay, so there's a guy in a cell. That platform doesn't look like it's gonna last forever. Oh, and that blue beam doesn't uh, doesn't die quickly. That's a little bit. That flower was just sitting there, it wasn't actually doing anything. There seem to be parts of this scenery that we're getting stuck on. Okay, the platforms in this are a little bit different from what we've had previously, in the sense that, well, in the sense that there seems to be part of the platforms that are blocking jumping properly. And we hit that somehow. We bashed it with our hand. And this is basically all we're doing is just, you know, there's not any 
any complexity to any of this. It is just climb, climb, climb. All you would really have. I feel like death-wise, all you're getting to me is like really cheap death. Oh, there we go, it's a blue guy. Yeah, it just seems like all we're getting is like really cheap deaths. But there we go, we cleared the cliff. And this should be the last round. Last stage, if you prefer. Of Astyanax. Here we are. What is this? Is this really a castle? No, it's a figment of your imagination, pal. Be careful. We're in the maze. We're in the maze. It's not going to be a maze, though, is it? It's going to be a lot of platforms that you can just jump up really easily. I can hear the princess's voice. Pay attention to the signs. That's good advice for drivers as well. Uh, so you can reach what? Her voice faded away. Something has stopped her telepathic her, her, her telepathic signal. Her telepath, eh? A sign? Let's go! A sign, let's go. So we're supposed to read signs? It's Thelenea? Thelenea? Lucasia? Someplace, anyway. Do we have to go in this door? What? I'm sorry, what? up, we had to press up and use our magic. So that, oh no, there we go. No, that's just taking me back where I was. Oh, that's, yeah, it's just taking me right back to there, so let's not do that. Okay, so it seems like the purple ones we should avoid, maybe, because they seem to send us back where we were. But the ones with the red over them are okay. where I was as well. Okay, so what? So what exactly are we supposed to do there? Then? So that door's not right. So that door's not right. Actually, we didn't try going through the door. We came back and through the door. So that door's not right. What are these signs that's telling me to pay attention to? Is it this one? Yes, there we go. Oh, wait, I get it. Well, I don't really, but there's red, purple, red. Does that tell me which door I'm supposed to go through? tell us how to solve. This one was the last door. See that one. And then we had this one, where we went through... Which door did we go through? It wasn't the last, it was the middle one, wasn't it? I think. It was that one. But then the question I've got is where do I go? Ooh, 
Right, what, what door did we go through last time? It was the last door, wasn't it? I think it's that one. Yes. Now that's interesting. It would appear that the door you have to go through is the one where the skeleton pops up from. I don't know what pink, green, pink means, whether that does mean anything or not. Ah, look, there's a skeleton. Now that's interesting, because every door that we've gone through that's taken us to the right place has had a skeleton in front of it. So maybe there is some kind of odd logic to how we're supposed to get through here. But... It's also helped by the fact that there's a skeleton right where you need to go. Let's find out. This sends me back to the beginning. I'm completely out of my place. Does that mean it's the second? The second door? It's not that one. Well, if if my logic's correct, it's not that one. Uh, I don't it's that one. Let's see if a skeleton pops up here. Look, I mean... There we go. Okay, maybe we're out of that maze now. trying to find some clue. It's sent to look at the signs. Oh, there's the skeleton guy. What was his name? Horndog. Thorndog, sorry. Oh no, it wasn't him. Welcome, brave warrior from another world. Now it's time for you to die. I am the, hor the Horndog. Thorndog. Sorry. Where's the princess? Well, I hope she's not in another castle. Fly. No, she's a fairy. We've, we've made this clear. As we've been walking through the world, we know she's a fairy, not a fly. She'll be a slave to Blackhorn, Blackthorn soon. A can of cider. She's drinking cider, isn't she? This is an advertising game. It's an advert game from way back in the 90s. 1990. For Blackthorn Cider. What's this? Now we just chopped off his hand. Now you're not. Now you're not so handy, are you? Ha ha ha! Oh, he gets his hand back. Is that it? Is that the whole game done? No, that's round six one. Was that that thorn dog guy? Thorn dog, whatever his name is. We've got six hundred and eleven thousand points. Exciting. So yeah, Thorn Dog is defeated. Nobody can defeat me now. Woo! Is that what he says when he goes home? Ha 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 ha! Well done. That one wasn't. What? By defeating me, you've doomed yourself. You've made one of the classic blunders. You've been bound magically. And must die with me. Well, that's that's a shame. Long live Blackhorn. It was Blackhorn. Never mind. Yes, it's not an advertisement. Ha 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 ha. I'm stuck. Ashnax, listen. Hey, listen. Thorndog's seal without what? Without sacrificing their life. What a pointless waste of time. We've come all this way to try and rescue... Oh wait, is she going to sacrifice her life? I'm sorry that I brought you here to this world. No, cutie, don't do it. No urgency in what he's saying, is it? Has everything shouted here? You must save the princess! Yeah. Please, Astyanax, you want to get back. That sounded slightly David Attenborough. To your world. 
slightly, didn't it? Mr. Spark! Or yeah, maybe, maybe William Shatner. Don't worry about me. I'm not doing it in a very good voice though. So long, Bastion X. Maybe someday. Or nothing, you'll be dead. Cutie! And he drops to his knees and raises his arms to the heavens as the lightning strikes down. Yeah, he did, Luke. <laughs> I was just thinking of, like, Jay and Silent Bob strike back. But he actually did. Blackhorn, you'll die for this. Or for any of the other evil things that he might have done. But specifically for that. What's this? Okay, we're gonna get, like, a version of all the bosses again. That was easy. What's next? It's an elevator. The golden elevator. We are actually going to get that, aren't we? I'm going to have to fight him. Like one, yeah, a version of each boss. Again. On consecutive floors. There's nothing else to do. Just stand on an elevator. Go up. Fight and go back up. Oh, but the Minotaur's given, putting up a fight, guys. Uh, not for long. I don't even think I have to control myself walking there. Yeah, he just walks himself. So this is the end of the game, it's just floor after floor of bosses. There's that rock guy. Well, the sub-bosses actually, aren't they? Because the bosses were bigger. So unless we do all the sub-bosses and then all the bosses and then the main boss... Let's, um... Killed them though. That's quite a lazy ending to the game, isn't it? Well, is it? I mean, I don't know. I mean, we're still going to have to fight an actual boss, presumably, at the end of this. Oh, different level. Okay, this will be the guy, Luke. This is Blackhorn. A lot of stuff about horns. You've come at last. Did you really think? No, you didn't. You didn't. Your evil creatures could stop me. Well, I mean, I guess he assumed it might, you know. <laughs> now, release the princess at once. Your princess is in another castle. I've said that many times. Ha! Ha! Just ha! Your boldness is exceeded only by your stupidity. He's not here. Oh, okay, that's fine. Your princess is here. Trapped. Forever. Now you will join her. Alive. I'll, I'll be the judge of that. Be careful, Astyanax. Blackhorn's true face. And you're about to see his ultimate form. Is what? You will see me controlling this world. What's his face going to turn into? I mean, it's already bright red. You, know, I'm, you wouldn't think I was the one that just had to fight all these monsters, but he's got a bright red face. Is that out of puff already? Couldn't prepare himself for our epic battle for the ages. Can you defeat me? I will defeat you. Where are you? Oh, well done. You've got, you've got like lightning. Wait, was that it? Now there's a dragon. Some sort of, oh, it turned gold. And now red. Something tells me whenever I'm using those skills, these dragons turn into different colours. So I can actually hit it anymore. I also can't do anything, apparently. Oh, well, there we go. I mean, that was... Okay, admittedly, I used that magic. But that was really easy. That was the end of the game, I think. And no doubt it'll just say congratulations. Astion X, you have stopped the evil wizard. There we are, Luke. So, Astyanax, I appreciate you risking your life to save me. Cutie gave her life, so I could free you. She will be remembered, always. I feel like they could have, like, scrolled that text. Your efforts have saved this country. And all of the world, it's people, there we go, well, just the country, 
He said he was taking over the world. Please, let's go back to Remlia. Okay, let's start again. Everybody is waiting. For you. For you, Astyanax. Nasty ass dino. I don't know, whatever he's called. Astyanax is. We'll have a big celebration! Thank you, but I would like to go home. Just say I want to go home. I want to go home! You made me fight all these monsters and now I just want to go home. His parents are probably going nuts looking for him. What, some massive warrior kid? I see. We will never forget you, Astyanax. Please, be happy in your world. I will. You'll send me there. I'm back! Look, I'm back in my stripy t-shirt. He's got a bulging blue vein in his arm as well. What's that about? Was it all a dream? Maybe. A daydream, maybe? Who's this? Is this cutie? Look at this. That's, that's that fairy. It's cutie. Has he noticed? Huh? You! Go on, call her cutie. Oh wait, she knows his name. Astyanax, Astyanax! Look at that. He gets to... Kiss the fairy? Astyanax has missed you so much. Wait, she's not. Oh, cutie. You're alive. Now you got to explain where some random girl came from and what you were doing picking her up on a school trip. Oh, now I understand. Do you? I don't. Astyanax. Cutie. This is a reward for your bravery. So she brought her back too. Well, she thought that because the fairy wanted to help him, that she was actually looking to be his girlfriend? That's some slightly weird logic there. Oh, okay. I guess it works if you like that kind of thing. Anyway, yeah, that's another retro game for cheaters. Uh, looking at some other games. Uh, obviously, everything's been NES related so far. We have got some Super Nintendo, some Mega Drive, some Master System, possibly some PS1 as well. Um, Right now, that was Astyan X. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll join me again for the next video in the series. Remember, uh, as ever, drop a subscription, maybe click the bell for some notifications, and we'll, uh, we'll see where we go from there, won't we? Thank you very much, guys, and goodbye for now, and I hope you'll join me for the next video in our series of cheats.